She took something borrowed and something blue. She wiped away a tear and made herself a promise. There wasn't much in her suitcase, lots of empty space. When things got really tough, she liked to joke about how she could always hide in there. Sometimes it was very tempting. All it would have taken was someone to dare her or doubt her or in some other way make it unlikely. She wanted her old Beatles albums back. She never thought she would regret setting fire to them. For many years after, she secretly missed John Lennon. She used to hold a broom and sing like she was Paul McCartney, over and over until the records got scratched. She could remember how awfully sad that was, and then how odd it was to feel content as she watched them burn. She felt like she was doing the right thing. myself of a heavy load And travel on down the back road she slipped as she got on the bus and nearly fell. For a split second, she felt like she was back in school and had just dropped her lunch tray in front of the whole cafeteria. She was ready with a defensive glare, but looked up to realize that no one had even noticed her stumbling. She laughed because she was more disappointed that nobody had even noticed. What was she to do with that practiced glare? This is where you belong. Find a friend and you The bus smelled like wet newspaper and beer. Everyone was either sleeping, reading a newspaper, or staring out the window. She laughed again and then paused to wonder what was funny. She wasn't sure, and that made her laugh again. She sat down and closed her eyes and flashed back to when she was a child. She thought about her mom and how she always got the candles ready when the thunderstorms began. Each time her mom would explain why it was important to be prepared. She remembered hoping the electricity would go out. The candles made her feel warm and made the whole family begin talking about things they never would otherwise. She wished that she had packed a candle in her suitcase and then laughed again. 